everybody. Hi, it's Becky from PowerToolsWithThread.com. That's my blog. I missed you guys. Gosh, it's been more than a week since my last video. I was working that conference. We had a bunch of muckety mucks come down from on high in the Air Force to go to a conference and I was actually able... Hello, Harley. <laughs> my dog comes racing through here. I was actually able to get a quilt top done during last week, if you can believe it. I got home Monday night, and uh, after working all day, I was exhausted, and my little sewing room was all dark and pitiful, and I didn't have a machine going, and I thought, man, this stinks. So I, uh, oh, today's August 19th, 2019. <clears throat> so I went ahead and Tuesday night when I got home I went digging around and I found a really easy pattern I you know for easy patterns I love Via Rosa designs I wanted something that didn't require a whole lot of thought I wanted something that didn't require a whole lot of piecing and I found this one it's called Phoebe can you see Phoebe simple four patches with sashing really easy it says two sets of 45 inch squares so two sets of so there are four packs of five inch squares that make up a layer cake right and um, so I didn't want to waste a whole layer cake or half of a layer cake so I went digging around and found a Jolly Bar Do y'all know what Jolly Bars are they're the brainchild of Kim Jolly uh, from Fat Quarter Shop and they're distributed by Moda and this isn't the one I used in the quilt but um, Here's one right here. It's a five by 10 inch rectangle. These are handy for quick little projects, y'all. So I got this and uh, that's another one I had here in my stash. So by Tuesday night, I had all of the four patch squares cut, sorted, sewn together. And then Wednesday, I snuck away at lunch and I went to the quilt store and I got some fabric for sashing and borders. And then Wednesday night I sewed all the sashing on and then Thursday night when I got home I put the borders on so let me show you Phoebe she turned out so pretty this is a fabric by Bonnie and Camille and it's called the good life some of you probably have this this is such a pretty happy print I love it let me come back here and hold it up so you can see and I just used a, a soft gray in the sashing so and I was out on Etsy and I found here it is see this this one right here this dark gray with this floral print that I found on Etsy for four dollars a yard for my backing no yes sixteen dollars for the whole thing because it says it needs four yards that's a deal you guys oh and then we took a much needed rest and went to the coast. So, while I was down there, y'all remember a couple of videos ago I told you I got the half yard wreath wall hanging kit from Fat Quarter Shop? I finished it. Yay! In August! <laughs> I finished it in August! Not January like I did last year with my Christmas quilt. Did I finish that quilt? Anyway, um, so I finished that and uh, let me show it to you. Here it is. Let me come over here. Around my sewing room a little bit. Now the pattern called for a tube of red fabric to be made and then tie an actual bow. I'm not doing that. I'll have to show you guys what I did, but I applique that bow on with simply applique. Look, I used a blanket stitch. Can you tell? Can you see? You can't even, whoop, can't even see it. I used a pretty small blanket stitch. I'm really happy with it, you guys. I went looking for a backing for it today on Fat Quarter Shop and I couldn't find it. Um, they have the fabric uh, numbers 
on the back of the pattern so I think I'm pretty sure they're out of these kits but I will look and see if I can't find one of these fabrics oh I was also making the merriment quilt do you guys remember this a couple of videos ago Gin Jennifer's gingerbread merriment it's a panel and um, the pattern calls for a layer cake, but you don't really need a whole layer cake. You really need like jolly bar size or two, uh, two five inch uh, square cuts. And so I cut most of it this weekend and then I really needed a little bit more. And so I won't go into the drama of why I didn't have enough fabric, but we'll just say I didn't have enough fabric. And I wanted the fabric that they have um, on the picture because I have no imagination. And the fabric that came with it, I really wasn't that fond of what, what it was going to look like. So the picture, the, the sample quilt has a snowflake pattern around it. And I got that. I, y'all, it's so nice. I got this on Etsy. Kate's So Modern. And I'm going to tag her. Uh, her shop in this video. Becky, thank you so much for your order. If you ever need help picking things out for a project, we're happy to FaceTime with you. <laughs> How about that? We can also custom kit patterns based on your choices. Please share what you make. Our hearts soar when we see your creations. Just tag us on social media or send pics to Kate Sew Modern, handwritten. Thanks again. Happy sewing, Becca. Well, she's a Rebecca, so... <laughs> Gotta be sweet, right? Look, at, isn't that nice? I love getting stuff like that, y'all. Quilters are such nice people. Well, fabric people are such nice people. I don't know if she quilts or not, but she's got quilt fabric, so really nice. Super fast shipping. I ordered this, let's see, it's Monday. I ordered this on Saturday. I don't know where it came from. I didn't look at the, did I look at the package? It came from Connecticut. How about that? Oh. And she refunded me a buck ninety nine, overcharging in sh in uh, postage costs that was automatically charged by the website, and then it was a buck nine. She refunded me two dollars in postage. Definitely on the list. Kate's so modern. It's C A T E S S E W M O D E R N. Highly recommend her shop on Etsy. She did an amazing job. So, and then I also from. Uh, Starlet Quilts in Bonnie Lake, Washington. I got another Merriment Charm Pack. So I'll be good to go to cut out all my pieces now. I'm pretty happy about that. Well, she might have sent a little note too, but I didn't read it. Let's see. Oh, it does have a handwritten little, thank you so much, little signature. How nice. Hey, do I look different? So... At the conference last week, we had a whole professional video team there, you know, doing interviews and taking videos of the whole event and whatnot. So uh, I was talking to one of the camera guys, and I'm like, hey, I have a YouTube channel, and I could use some pointers on what I could do, you know, to make it look better or whatever, you know, besides stop saying um. And <laughs> he says, let me see one of your videos. Y you know, a millennial with a man bun, you know, one of those. <laughs> I swear. And a beard, of course. Anyway, he um, he looked at one of my videos. He's like, oh, you have raccoon eyes. And I was like, what are those? Well, my husband put a big shop light for me up above my cutting table. And I always sit next to my cutting table. And I want lots of light. Even though I have lots of natural light here. But you can see that light hitting me from this side on my face, right? And he said, you need to get you one of those big donut looking lights. The big round lights. So... That's what I'm looking at. And my first take of this video was yesterday evening, and it was a big fail because the lighting was wrong, the color was wrong, the shot angle was wrong. It went too long. It was a mess. It was just a mess. And so I'm just doing this one again on the fly. But uh, so I shouldn't have raccoons anymore, but I don't like the color of the video without that shop light. So. You're just going to have to deal with that. Not doing away with it. So, also, because um, I can't see the table <laughs> once it's dark, 
Uh, the other day, Missouri Star had a daily deal, and I thought it was three patterns. Must have been four. I think it was like I don't know, two ninety nine or something insane, two fifty. So I got um, kite season. They sent this. I don't know about that. Eh. They sent Dizzy Daisy, which is super cute. I like this. Kite season's not one I would have picked for myself. The Christmas tree. I really like this. I really like that one. You know I love Christmas stuff, y'all. And then fall shenanigans with kitty cats and pumpkins. Too cute. It looks like it's a small quilt. It's a 40 and a half by 40 and a half. So that's nice. And uh, it says quilt pattern for 10 inch square, so that's great. Oh, hey, before I forget, there is going, for you locals, there is a quilt retreat that's happening at the Three Oaks Retreat Center in Yoakum, Texas, September 12th through the 15th. I'm going to be there. I'm so excited. I can't wait to go. So they have four spots left. If y'all are interested, give the retreat center a call. And I think they have somebody there. Those stinkers are off on a bus or something this week to Missouri Star. Oh, if I'd have known. Goodness, I couldn't have gone anyway because of the conference, but still. And then um, you can give them a call and to, to see if you're interested in going. I'd love to see you there. And then also this coming weekend, this Friday and Saturday, I'm going to be at a Kimberbell embroidery event at the Creative Sewing Center by all brands in San Antonio. And I'm going to take my camera there too. So I'm really looking forward to that. That should be a lot of fun. So lots going on here. What else do I have? Oh, let's do a giveaway. I had promised y'all I'd do that on my next video. So I want to do that. I was reorganizing my sewing room last February and I came across spares. Uh, I talked to y'all about a Jolly Bar, which is five and a half by 10 inch squares, rectangles, rectangles. And Fat Quarter Shop has a Jolly Bar book that you can have. And so I have two of these. I'm going to give it away. And it's got 20 patterns in it. Really nice, really easy. So, um, and then I'm also going to include, don't ask me why, I have another two 10 inch half hexagon. This is from Missouri Star. I love these, uh, these color rulers. These are great. But, uh, and you don't have to use Jolly Bars, y'all. You can have a layer cake, which is just 10 inch squares, and um, use half of that or cut it in half and make two different quilts out of it. Cool, huh? Or you can use yardage, whatever, you know. Wouldn't recommend a charm pack, probably won't work. Won't have enough. So anyway, if you would like to have that, free of charge and free shipping, just uh, leave a comment below in the, in the comment below the video here, and don't leave a comment to somebody else's comment, okay? Yours needs to be a top-level comment because YouTube tells me how many comments and it's talking about top levels, okay? So if you comment to somebody else's, I'm not going to count that. And uh, I'm going to let this go through, let's see, there's a dog looking at me through the window and it's not mine. Go away. He's a sweetheart. Neighbor's dog. I worry because I have dog doors. Becky, get back on track. So I'm going to let this go. Today is the 19th, and we will let this go through August 31st, okay? So the 1st of September, I'll do a random number generator and figure out who wins, and hopefully the number is 17 and not uh, 412. <laughs> who wants to count that many? <laughs> anyway, so... Um, I really missed you guys. I thank you for being patient with me to get all this back out. And um, I hope you win something that you like. Okay? We will talk to you soon. Go sew something. Bye.